Hey guys, so I got one of those uh, stainless steel peanut lighters from countycom.com and when I got it I was about to just throw it on my keychain or my keys but then um, I started noticing all these random um, minute scratches all over it and I was thinking well it's kind of I don't know I'm one of those uh, people that kind of don't want to get their stuff scratched <laughs> or worry about it at least when I first get it because after that it just gets all messed up and I don't care anymore but um so I was kinda looking for a way to um, either cover it or just give it a a nice rough finish so that I won't have to worry about it um so I hit the web and um, I found a thread on a forum where someone actually used um, heat shrink tubing to um, basically protect or cover their their peanut lighter well they did it I believe because every other thing on their keychain was black so they just wanted a uniform black color but I was thinking hey I think that's a cool idea um, I mean heat shrink tubing is pretty cheap so if it gets messed up or if it loosens up or anything just like just take it off and, and do it over again. So I figured since I'm doing it right now I just uh, record it so I can show you guys how how I did it and how it works and stuff. So here is the body of the lighter I already did. I took the insert out obviously. So I already got this far and here you can see where I use my my pliers to hold it. Now I don't have a heat gun or anything, so what I use is just my plain old Zippo. It's just a matte black Zippo. And I just came back from Home Depot. I just got this uh, 3 fourths of an inch black heat shrink tubing. Got two of them, so uh, here's what it looks like. pretty thick stuff pretty durable from what I can feel so so here's the body that I did of course I'm just gonna cut off the excess later on but I'm about to do the cap or the top of it here it is inside it's a really it's actually a really big fit this is really big but um like the paper here says I'm not sure if you can see that it has a two to one shrink ratio which means that it's going to come out after it shrinks it's going to be half as big as it was before it looks even smaller actually oh but if you I guess you can kind of imagine how this is half the diameter of this but anyways what I did was stick it here and I uh, flicked uh, on the lighter and then I have this sword letter opener thing and stick this inside and just kind of rotated it over the f uh, the flame until it got snug enough that I could just hold it with my uh, pliers because being how big it is, I didn't want to hold it with the pliers and have the inside slip out, so that's why I was using the letter opener. Anyways, let's give this a shot, and I hope, hope I can do it properly because I'm working around the tripod here. All right, just putting this back in. Put it in the middle because um, it will shrink lengthwise a little bit. And at first I was holding the lighter and holding this, but then obviously the lighter gets very hot. So I just decided to put it down. I adjusted my wick so that the flame would be really low. Because you don't want to burn this, obviously. You know what? I'm just going to use my pliers. It's a lot 
it's a it's more of a sturdy hold compared to that letter opener. And my flame is dying. Hopefully it'll it'll work okay. I'm not sure if you can see very well. Cause I'm I'm not gonna be looking through the viewfinder anymore for this. But um you definitely do not want to come in contact with the flame. I mean if you feel with your hand, it's really hot. I'm sure all of you know this, but um if you do come too close to the tubing, it will singe and it will burn it. So don't want that to happen. So you can see it's already shrinking away. Just um, rotating it so I can get to the other side here. I'd rather work nice and slow rather than being impatient and singeing the tubing, so I'm constantly moving it around because so it does get very hot. And as you saw earlier, the tubing is flat, so there are there's somewhat of a seam on the edge of it, and it'll at first at the beginning it'll like it'll kind of have a little bubble where the seam is but if you work slowly work carefully it'll smooth out and it'll go away See, I'm working about half an inch to an inch above the flame, as far as I can see. Just trying to get into all the, the corners and where it rounds off. It's going to be more of a challenge since um, the piano lighter is round, so but it's proving to be a very snug fit so far. Oh, and I got this for about two bucks at uh, Home Depot. Two bucks in some sense with tax, so... Definitely not expensive. And, um... At first, I actually got the half an inch size because I was thinking, man, the three fourths of an inch looks huge. But um, I opened it and I tried it, and it was way too small. It wouldn't even fit over the peanut lighter. So oh, my flame is dying down. Um, this Zippo actually was. Um, it's actually in my collection since. Since I'm going to be carrying this peanut lighter now, obviously, I'm not going to use a Zippo anymore, so it was not filled, and I just squirted in a little bit of lighter fluid just for this, so that's why the flame's dying down. That's more than enough for the job. I can barely see the flame in there. Okay, so as you can see, the tubing, whoops, sorry, the tubing has conformed to the shape of the lighter. And of course it's round up top, so there are going to be um, parts that are uncovered, but that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to be picky about that. Okay, let me see if I can just get that flame to go a little higher. I 
Well, looks like all the, the fluid's burned out, so that's all right. I think, I think this is just fine. Okay, so here's the top. Uh, it's very hot because obviously I just put it over the flame for maybe about a few minutes or so. And being stainless steel, it's going to retain heat, so I'm going to let that cool down first. And here's the other one, the body. And I guess I should probably cut this. Uh, and there's that seam, you see, but it's pretty smooth, so I think it turned out pretty well. Now that it's cooled down, it's very hard, or very stiff. Yeah, that's what she said. Alright, let me just change the camera angle here so I can cut off the excess.